Tickets provide a way to enable controlled access to files within the data grid for anonymous persons. The data grid is a highly controlled environment. Every access is authenticated and every operation is authorized. If access is required by persons who do not have a data grid account, a method is needed to enable the access but still control what they do. The concept of tickets was invented to address public access to manage collections. Tickets provide an ability to access a file in the data grid without having an account while retaining some measure of control. Any person who has a ticket can use the ticket to gain access. The controls that are imposed can include an expiration date for the ticket, the use of the ticket can be limited to a specified time period, the number of allowed accesses, the ticket may allow an unlimited number of downloads or a specified number, permission to write data into the data grid. This is a dangerous option since an unknown person can deposit data. Thus, additional controls include the number of times a write may be performed and the amount of data in bytes that may be written. The data grid tracks every use of every ticket, monitors the usage, and automatically deletes the ability to use a ticket when a control limit is exceeded. The iDrop Web Client supports the creation of tickets. The steps that are required include selecting a file, clicking on the Tickets tab, clicking on Create, entering whether a read or write ticket is being created, and the expiration time, the number of allowed uses, the number of files that may be written, the amount of storage space that can be used, and whether a landing page is shown when the ticket is used. The system then creates a URL that contains a unique identifier for the ticket. The system checks this identifier to impose the usage restrictions. The URL can be loaded into a browser to download a file. An example of the URL that is created for a ticket is shown here. The ticket contains information about the client that created the ticket, iDrop Web, a unique identifier for the ticket, ticket string equals P6, etc., whether access is given to a file or a collection, object type, data object, the type of ticket, read or write, the data grid host address, diamond.ils.unc.edu colon the port number, 2247, the path name to the file, LifeLive Zone Home RW Morfu 1, and whether a landing page is created for accessing the file. The iDrop Web interface for defining a ticket is shown here. This displays the ticket that is created, defines the access permissions, and shows the usage. Multiple tickets can be issued for the same file with different controls. In practice, tickets are an effective way to share data that must have some controls. Either URLs are created that can be used by anyone, or tickets are created that limit the access for external users. Take seven minutes to complete exercise 22. Create a ticket for sharing data. You can use the iDrop web interface, select an expiration time, and select the number of allowed accesses. Please load a paragraph on describing what you did into the Lifetime Library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class.